Republican Leader McCarthy is clearly expecting that the GOP will take the House. Is this White House prepared to work with the Republican Congress? So I'm not going to I'm not going to get into hypotheticals. I'm not going to get ahead of what is uh, you know what is uh, going to happen tomorrow. Uh, I'm just going to uh, you guys will hear directly from the president, as I've stated many times before uh, on on Wednesday, the day after the elections. But I'm not going to get into speculation from here. In the closing weeks, the uh, this cycle, the president and uh, supporters have talked about the ramifications of a Republican-controlled Congress, talking about the choice, not a referendum, as the president says. Why is the president, uh, in addition to running on his achievements, not run on a specific agenda? As far as I can tell, there's only one bill that the president has said he would sign, if Democrats control the House of Congress, and that's a bill to codify abortion rights. Why not lay out for the public what would happen if Democrats held both the House and Senate? So I, you know, I, I, I hear the question that you're asking, but I disagree uh, in kind of the premise of the question. And what I mean by that is, if you look at the last 20 months of this administration, and I want to be really always be careful about elections here, talking about that from here, um, the the congressional Democrats and also the president has delivered. And that's why we've laid out what what we our agenda, and our agenda has been to make sure that the American people get a little bit breathing room, to make sure that we have an economy that works for everyone, and we've laid out uh, what one of our the president's uh, most biggest priority, right, his economic economic priority was making sure that we lower costs. That's what the Inflation Reduction Act was so important. Only Democrats voted for it. If you think about when the president walked into into this administration, the American Rescue Plan, meeting the moment that we were currently dealing with. We we're dealing with a pandemic that had shut down small businesses, hundreds of thousands of small businesses across the country. You know, thousands of people sadly were dying. We had schools that were, you know, that were shut down. And the president met that moment. And also to make sure that communities were protecting, uh, were able to protect themselves, right? Local governments were able to protect communities by having, being able to fund uh, for police officers and bring back teachers. All of those things are uh, what we have been very proud of, uh, making sure that we lay out that agenda. And what we have said is that we are going to continue uh, to make sure that we're lowering costs. We're going to make sure that we continue uh, to make sure that we bring uh, a little bit more breathing room for the American people. And let's not forget student loan aid as well, which is going to help almost 40 million people to give them a little bit breathing room as well. But I guess my question is why not a specific package? Why not say to the country, this is what you'll get if you elect Democrats? But why not just tell the country what we have done? Why not just lay that out, which we have? We have laid out what's what's at stake. We have said there is a choice for the American people. We have been very, very clear. You have all followed the president. He has he has been across the country talking specifically how Democrats will move forward, congressional Democrats will move forward in delivering for the American people. When you think about inflation, when you think about what the president has done to lower costs, you think about gas prices, taking really historical actions to, to make sure we tap into, tapping into the Strategic Petroleum Reserve so that we can bring gas prices down, they have by buck twenty-five. And you think about the Inflation Reduction Act, which is so important, which is going to lower energy costs, which is going to lower uh, health care premiums. Republicans, the first thing that congressional Republicans said that they're going to do is they're going to repeal that and then cut, you know, Medicare and Social Security. We're saying we're not going to do that. The president has been very clear. We're going to continue to fight for Medicare. We're going to continue to fight for people's Social Security. And we're going to continue to lower costs.